Welcome to Texas. Yeehaw! Whoa! I know, right? Everyone in Texas is proud of being friendly. In fact, the word Texas comes from the Native American word Tejas. Really? What does Tejas mean? It means friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mandy, and welcome to the Lone Star State. I thought we were in Texas. <laughs> You are. That's just its nickname. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Mandy. I'm Hoagie, and this is Bernie, Lorna, and Floaty. <laughs> wow, Mandy. Are you a real live cowgirl? <laughs> well, I reckon so. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. You're totally my hero. Hoagie, <laughs> please take our picture. <laughs> now another one. <laughs> now another. <laughs> oh, thanks. Is this your family's ranch, Mandy? <laughs> would you like me to show you around? Yes, please. That would be awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, look at me. I'm a cowgirl, too. I'll see you guys later. I'm thinking that this looks like a good place for 40 winks. <laughs> Bye, Floaty. See you later. We wait around, there'll be some singing cowboys too. Do these horses all belong to your family? Uh huh. That one's Buckskin, and that's Dapplesauce, Lady Macbeth, Snowball, and Chauncey. And this here's Tilly. She's my pony. Can I pet her? Uh huh. The trick with all farm animals is let them smell the back of your hand first, like this. And you have to speak in a soft voice. And most of all, be patient. Hi, Tilly. I'm Hoagie. Her nose is so soft. Hey, Mom. Hi, Mandy. So, is everyone in your family a cowboy? That must be fun. It is. But tons of work, too. My folks and I have to wake up every morning before sunrise. Yeah, but still, they get to bust broncos and rope cows and stuff, right? Yo, yo, easy now, easy. Who's that? That's my daddy and his ranch hand, Jim. And they're on their way to round up the herd. Really? Can we watch? Sure. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Jim. Howdy, y'all. Is Mandy showing you around? Yes, sir. Are you rounding up the cattle? Yep. Oh! Whoa. Yeah! All you, uh, kids, uh, maybe you better get up on the fence. We don't want anybody getting hurt. Oh, boy. Ride of cowboys! Huh? Uh, that's how they round the cattle? Why aren't they riding horses and singing cowboy songs? Maybe they did that in the old days, but that would take too long. But... Plus, my daddy needs his laptop. Believe me, it's hard to type on a horse. Your father uses a laptop? Sure, he keeps his records and inventory with him all the time. And he needs to check on the weather and cattle prices and stuff like that. But somebody must do things the old way, like Native Americans. Yeah, I 
bet they ride horses all the time. Well, Jim's Native American. In fact, he's 100% Kickapoo, and I don't think he even owns a horse. Jim is Native American? But he's not wearing a feathered headdress. <laughs> <sighs> We all seem kind of down. Well, I guess we thought that since we were in Texas, we were going to see some real cowboys. The real Wild West. <laughs> we are real cowboys. It's just that things have changed since the old days. I'll see. Tell you what, tonight's the big Rope and Rodeo Roundup. I'll be competing. And if you like, you're all welcome to come. Thanks, Mandy. Rope and Rodeo Roundup? They're probably just going to drive their trucks around in a circle. Yeah, and see who can type on their computers the fastest. <sighs> Texas sure isn't what I was expecting it to be. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo and the deer and the antelope play. Look, she likes it when you sing. Sure, it calms her down. Right, Buttercup? Now, who wants to try one of my mama's cider donuts? I do! You shit! <laughs> you guys go ahead. I just want to look at Tilly and Buttercup. <laughs> if there are no real cowgirls around, I'll just be one myself. I bet it's easy. Okay, Tilly! Yeah! Yippee? Huh. So how does this work? Where's your on switch? Go, start. Uh, forward, march. Come on, Tilly. Move! Yeah! Whoa! Are you okay? Well, being a cowgirl is a lot harder than I thought. And so's that ground. Oh no! You left the gate open! Buttercup ran off! Oh no! We've got to bring her back! She and I are supposed to be competing in the rodeo. But where do we start? Look! Hoof prints! Good eye, Hoagie. <laughs> so that means Buttercup went... That away! Fly, remember, Lorna? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's lucky. Um, for you, maybe. Don't worry, I'm on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> This is how I imagine Texas. Me too. The only thing that's missing is a cowboy song. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. Mandy, uh, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I wanted to be a cowgirl so bad, and now I've ruined everything. Aw, it's okay, Lorna. I know we'll find Buttercup soon. Really? Uh-huh. Was it our singing? Sure. I told you Buttercup loves it when people sing. Phew. That's a relief. Come on, Buttercup. Hmm. Let's go. No, Lorna, wait. Remember, Mandy showed us how to do it properly. <gasps> That's right. You have to let her smell the back of your hand first, and speak in a soft voice, and most of all, you have to be patient. Right, Mandy? I think you got it. Okay, let me try. Hi, Buttercup. Remember me? Now that's 
what I call some real cattle wrangling. Now let's hurry back. We have some rodeo to get to. And now, next in calf roping, please welcome our very own Mandy, riding her pony, Tilly. Wow, look at Mandy. She's a real cowgirl. Yep, we may have newfangled ways of doing things, but that doesn't mean we forget the old ones. Rope that doggy, Mandy! I don't see any doggies. <laughs> our dog is just what we call a calf without a mama, like Buttercup. to Kerala, India. Kerala is a state in India near the southern tip. It's got dense jungles, beautiful beaches, and lots of elephants. <laughs> oh, oh, did you say elephants? Yes, I did. Yay, 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 yay! Hoagie, are you all right? I can't believe it. I've wanted to get a glimpse of a real life elephant my whole life. Yeah, elephants are cool. Did you know that elephants can breathe through their trunks when they swim? Like a snorkel. Wow. Well, I'm not sure that they'll have elephants in the city where we're landing. But here we are, the capital of Kerala, Trivandrum. Oh, what should we do first? Coconuts, please. Passport, please. Here you go. Swagatam, welcome to Kerala. Thank you. Now that we've had our delicious coconut water, what should we do next? <laughs> Have more delicious coconut water? Great yeah. idea! Ah. <laughs> you guys must really like coconut. We sure yep. do! They're delicious! Me too. I'm Rupa. Hi, I'm Hoagie. And these are my friends, Lorna, Bernie, Hi. and Floaty. Hello there. We just hopped into town. Well, you came at the right time. It's the first day of Onam, a four-day Indian festival we celebrate here in Kerala. Onashamsakal. Onasa uh, what now? It's the way you greet people during Onam. Onasamsakal. Onasamsakal. Perfect. Wow, Floaty, you're even bigger than Nara. Well, uh, uh, thank you. Who's Nara? Oh, Nara's our elephant. We're getting him ready for a parade later that's part of the festival. Really? You actually have an ele 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 an elephant? Uh, <laughs> you'll have to excuse him. He really likes elephants. You do? Well, you can come help me decorate him if you like. Mm -hmm. hmm, I think that's a yes. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Actually, it's this way, Hoagie. Right, uh, okay, sorry. This is Nara Hari. We call him Nara for short. Good boy, Nara. Wow. Hi, Nara. And this is my father. 
Namaskaram! Hello! Papa, these are my new friends, Hoagie, Lorna and Bernie. Would it be okay for them to help decorate Nara? Of course! Wonderful! It's getting late and we're supposed to meet your mother at the parade soon, so some extra pairs of hands will help. Come, here are some of the decorations you can use. Ooh! <gasps> I like the shiny These are ones. great! <laughs> Oh, wow, Nara! Looking good! Nulatuka! That took longer than I thought. The elephant parade starts in half an hour, and we still have to pick up our costumes on the other side of town. Appen, how will we get back in time for the parade? Well, I can give you a lift. Really? Thank you! But Rupa, we can take Nara with us. We'll watch him. Oh, uh, we will. You will? Sure. We're happy to elephant sit. I really like elephants. Okay, if you're sure, thank you. We'll be back soon. But just remember, Nara can be a little bit stubborn. Stubborn? This big, sweetie? Nah, we'll be fine babysitting him. As long as he doesn't sit on us. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. We won't be long, I hope. <laughs> Elephant sitting is gonna be the best thing ever! What should we do first? Well, we should probably figure out where the elephant is. Right, we should figure out where the... <gasps> Where's the elephant? <gasps> I don't know! No idea! I don't know much about elephant sitting, but I bet the first rule is don't lose the elephant. Come on, we have to find him! and about this big? Nora! Oh, Nora! The sound came from that way! Uh, <laughs> we're really sorry. Uh, come on, big guy. You ready to go back? Uh, that sounds like a no. Come on, fella! Uh, come on! Uh-oh. How are we supposed to get him to move? I'll try calling him. Nara, come. Whoa! This is not good. We've got to get him back. Oh, come on. Hmm. How do you get an elephant to move if he doesn't want to? Hmm. <gasps> Dogs like to chase sticks. Maybe this will work. Well, that didn't work. Maybe if we can get a really big truck and then fill it with peanuts and then... Hey, look! There he goes! Looks like he's marching to the beat! Oh, hey, hooray! hooray! direction of where we need to go. We could really use an elephant whisperer. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> you can't just whisper at him, Lorna. Elephant whisperer means you can talk to elephants and get them to do stuff. Oh, well, I can't do that. Huh, where did he go now? It looks like he's a break <gasps> on that lady's beautiful picture. Oh, we're sorry. We'll uh help you fix it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Now, let's get you back to where you need to be. There you guys are. Rupa! We need to get Nar to the parade route. He can be stubborn sometimes. <laughs> we know. Come on, the parade starts in Akulam. This way. We're almost there. Come on, Nara. Oh, no. Uh, what's wrong? Nara really likes mangoes. Uh-oh. 
I hope they get here soon. The parade is about to start. We're getting further away from the shore, Rupa. We have to get huh? back to land. <laughs> hey, do that again, Nara. But spray that way. This way. We'll never get into the parade in time. So Nara really likes music, huh? I have an idea. Good idea, Hoagie. I didn't even know Nara likes music. Oh, there you are. Oh, Nusam Sakal, thank you so much for elephant sitting. I hope Nara didn't give you too much trouble. What? Trouble? Nah, no way. <laughs> no trouble at all. <laughs> and you played a chenda. Wonderful. Our drama for the parade had to cancel, so we could use a substitute. <laughs> Count us in. Okay. One, two, three, four. Goes to Kalantan. <sighs> is it my imagination or is it really hot today? Boy, oh boy, it is a hot day, isn't it? But I was smart enough to save something special for a day just like today. Really? You have something special for a hot day like today? Yes, I do. I'd be happy to share. My wonderful, cold, tasty ice cream cone! <gasps> Oops, sorry! Um, thanks for sharing, I guess. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's my favorite flavor. Where are we headed today? Somewhere you're really gonna like. Today, we're going to Malaysia a small tropical country in Southeast Asia. More than half of the country is covered in jungle and rainforest. You can even find the world's largest flower here, the Raffle Asia. Oh, cute. There are two main bits of land in Malaysia, meaning there are lots of long sandy beaches too. Oh, so we're going to the beach today. No, we're going to Kuala Lumpur the capital of Malaysia. It is famous for its shiny twin towers called the Patronus Towers. I can't wait to get there. Yeah, I would think we'd be able to see those big towers by now. <laughs> you won't see them yet, Barney. We have a lot of jungle to fly over first. Mm. Ah! Uh-oh, guys, I think we have a problem. What's the matter, Floaty? I think I heard a pop. Oh, no, it's a hole. Me too. Oh, yeah, me three. Phew, it was super duper hot under there. Plus, it smells like dirty socks. Salamat Puggy, passport please. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, and enjoy your stay in Malaysia. So, Huggy, is this Kuala Lumpur? I'm not sure. It looks like some sort of jungle village. <laughs> Hi there. Did I say something funny? Not really. It's just that I've never heard anyone call my kampong a jungle village. But I guess in a way it is. Kampong? What's a kampong? Is it part of Kuala Lumpur? <laughs> Kuala Lumpur? That's a long way away. Kampong means village in Malay. You're in my village. So this isn't Kuala Lumpur? 
Poor? Nope, you are in my kampong in Kelantan, which is on the east coast of Malaysia. Oh, no! Those holes in Floaty's balloon must have brought us down much too early. Oh, don't worry. You like it here. It's not a city, but it's still fun. Oh, my name's Rosa, by the way. Hi, Rosa. I'm Hoagie. These are my best friends, Bernie and Lorna. Hello. Hello. Oh, and Floaty's under that balloon. Howdy do. Oh, dear. It looks like your balloon has gone flat. Hmm, your balloon is flatter than flat, Floaty. I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. Well, here in my kampong, there are many different people who do many different things. Maybe we can find a way to help your friend. Really? Would you do that for us? Sure. I wonder if there's anyone in the kampong who makes balloons. Well, I don't know about that. But we can visit some of my neighbors and see if anyone can help. My kampong is full of people who make and create things. My mama makes things, too. That's great! What does she make? Oh, she's a brilliant artist. She makes things that... Oh, wait, wait, wait! Let me guess. Does she make statues? Nope, guess again. Does she paint beautiful paintings? Close, but not quite. My mama's art is very traditional. Oh, come on! Tell us, please! Okay, <laughs> my mama paints fabric. She makes batik. But what? Batik. It's a special way to make patterns on fabric. Wow! So, shall I take you to meet my mama? That sounds great, Rosa. And please, do show us around your beautiful, uh, kampong. Hopefully, we can find someone who can fix Floaty. I certainly hope so. Okay, let's go. We'll be back in a flash, Floaty. Um, I'll just wait here. I just love this Malaysian hospitality. This is my friend Amin. He has been making beautiful Malaysian kites for many years. These are so great! What do you call them? Wow! I know! Wow! They are cool! But what is the name of this kind of kite? <laughs> no, I'm telling you that the Malay word for this type of kite is wow. Oh, so the wow is really wow! <laughs> How does he make them? It's made from bamboo and string. And then it's covered in paper, which has been painted in beautiful colors. These kites are so cool! I wonder if this one can fly! Oops! <laughs> I guess I'll stick to hopping and let Floaty, Lorna, and Bernie do the flying. Oh, Floaty! I wonder... <laughs> I guess not. Hey, look! They're carving toys! This is Uncle Ayman and Auntie Wani. They have been making wood carvings for many years. Hey! Woo! How does this work? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm sorry, Lorna. I didn't mean to send you into the air like that. Oh, but hang on. Maybe we could use this to help Floaty fly again. <laughs> that won't work. Terimakase. Goodbye. What does terimakase mean? <laughs> It means thank you in Malay. Oh. Terima kase. Terima kase. Got it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Bernie, to me. Wow, amazing! Keep it up, Hoagie. Oh dear. Oh dear. Whoa! <laughs> seen that done in a game of sepak raga before. <laughs> Dolly! It tastes weird. <laughs> it's not for eating, Hoagie. It's made from rattan, a type of palm. <laughs> <laughs> Hoagie always likes to try new things to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie. Hmm. But I wonder if this could help Floaty. 
<laughs> nope. <sighs> Not helpful at all. All this wooden stuff sure is beautiful. Is your mother's art this beautiful? I'll show you. Come on, it's my house next. Oh, Rosa. Hello, Mama. These are my new friends, Hoagie, <laughs> Bernie, and Lorna. Selamat petang. That means good afternoon. Selamat petang to you too. Petang to you too. I'll be right back. I have something I think you might like. Oh my! This is really pretty. My mama made them all. Who's thirsty? Terry Makasi. Oh yummy! I'm nuts for coconuts. Oh, oh Lorna. Lorna. Oh, and this heat. These coconuts really hit the spot. So, Mrs. Um, Rosa's mom, how do you make such beautiful fabric? Yeah, something this pretty must be really hard to make. Well, first you take some fabric. Then you make a pattern on the fabric using wax. Now this can be done with a stamp, like this. Or you can draw with a special wax pen, like this. Now once the wax design is finished, the fabric is dipped in dye. And when it is all dry again, we wash off the wax. And when the wax is gone, you are left with a wonderful design like this. That's so clever. Really clever. So what happens to all these pieces of fabric that you paint? What do you do with them next? Well, I make sarongs and dresses and shirts and, well, you can make anything out of it. Ooh, can you make me a new hat? Of course. As I said, you can make anything. Anything? Anything. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely. Well done, guys. I love my brand new balloon. Anything for you, Floaty. And I see you've made a new friend, too. <laughs> he was a real lifesaver. Aw, he's so cute. <clears throat> Isn't anyone going to compliment my new hat? It's genuine Malaysian batik. Yes, you're looking almost as good as me. Hey, you cheeky monkey! Come back here! <laughs> well, it looks like you're not ready to leave yet. That's fine by me. I can't think of a nicer place to be. Get back here, oh, okay. little critter! <laughs> <laughs> Head to that oasis down there. Oh, Habibi, what's wrong? Huh? Hmm. Habibi, come back! I don't think that camel likes us. Whoa! Marhaba, and welcome to Jordan. Your passport, Fudleek. Passport? Oh, of course. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Hi. Sorry we scared your camel away. It's okay. Habibi's running towards our camp. He'll be fine. But come to think of it, he is the only way I can get these water skins back to my family's tents. Well, I can carry that water if you like. Good idea, Floaty. My name's Hoagie. And I'm Lorna, and he's Bernie. Hey, I was going to say that. Nice to meet you. My name is Nora. Um, why does your family live in tents? We are Bedouins, nomads who travel through the desert. We don't stay in one place for very long. I guess we're nomads too. We also travel a lot. The camp is just a bit further ahead. All I can see is sand. How do you know which way to go? We learn to use the sun and the stars to figure out which direction we're going in. And we also like to use things like rocks and trees to help. See that? You mean that giant rock? Yes, my family's camp is near there. Then that's where we're going. Oh, 
Ahlan wa sahlan. My father says that he's very happy to meet you. Uh, what should we say? You should say shukran. It means thank you. Shukran! <laughs> You're very welcome. You must be tired after your journey. Please come inside for a snack. There you are. Because of you, my friends had to carry all that water. <laughs> We always take our shoes off before entering a tent. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Mmm, these are great. What is it? They are dates. Mmm, sweet. Uh, 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 no dates for you, Habibi. They're for our guests. Mm. Oh. Mm. Would you guys like to go for a ride on Habibi? Oh, yeah. Uh, is that okay with you, Habibi? <laughs> ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, yikes. Uh, he sure is bouncy. <laughs> oh, don't be afraid of him. That's just Floaty. Yeah, Floaty's nice. Hello. <laughs> Achoo! Hey! Habibi! We better go after them. Let's go, Floaty! I'm sorry, guys. It's too windy for me to fly right now. You'll have to go without me. We're going to get Habibi back, Ama. All right, but don't be late. We're having a special dinner tonight. Well, except for the falling off part. Hey, it looks like it's getting foggy. That's not fog. It's a sandstorm. We'd better find a place to hide. Come on! We can hide in there! Phew! That was close. Yeah, I sure hope Habibi is okay. He'll be fine. His nostrils and his eyelashes protect him from blowing sand. <laughs> Camels are kind of crazy, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they are. Camels make all sorts of different sounds depending on their moods. Habibi sure does. When he's mad, he goes, Arr! and when he's happy, he goes, Nee! I like the way he went, Arr! when you asked him a question. Does this sound like Habibi? Arr! A bit. And when he was running in the desert, he went quack, quack. That sounds like a camel duck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I think it's safe to go out there now. I've never seen anything like it. <gasps> we found the lost city. What is this place? Did we make a new discovery? This is Al Kazni the ancient city of Petra. It's more than 2,000 years old. They must have had some big cranes 2,000 years ago. <laughs> I don't think they were invented back then, Hoagie. Bernie's right. So how did they do this then? It's all carved by hand. Whoa! How on earth did they reach up there? I'm going up for a closer look. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Welcome to my palace. <laughs> well, thank you, Your Majesty. So, shall we go in? Um, it looks a bit dark in there. I'm not sure if I want to go in. It's a bit spooky. 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 What's going on down there? Don't go anywhere without me. Oh, to see the fabulous. <laughs> well, I guess that makes up our minds then. So, uh, which way do you think, Nora? I've never been here without my father before. And I've never explored these rooms. Well, we don't have to, you know. But we are adventurers. Well, okay then. <gasps> 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 
Did you hear that? I sure did. Maybe we should try that doorway instead. It's that sound, and it's coming from this doorway. Or that doorway. I think maybe I'll just head back to the... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Habibi, come back here! <laughs> Yes, let's drink. It's hot stuff running in the desert. <laughs> Follow the naughty camel! If we don't find him soon, we'll have to head back without him. It's getting late. Maybe he'll come if we call. <laughs> Let me try. Quack, quack. Aha! <laughs> 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 uh -huh. He's at the spring! This way! There you are! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> he walked <Whoa>! wow! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No offense, but you have really bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> enough out of you. Quack, quack! Ah! Oh, I guess I can't speak camel after all. Oh, there you are. When the sandstorm was over and you still weren't back, everyone at the camp started to worry about you guys. If Habibi would just calm down, we'd be back at the camp in no time. Nora's dad sent over some dates. They might help. Of course, camels love dates. Now will you behave? Hmm. Okay, you can have one more date. I hope we're not too late for dinner. Huh, that would be impossible. We couldn't have dinner without the guests of honor. <laughs> she means you guys. Come on, let's eat. Quit complaining. Didn't you hear her? It's time to eat. Mmm, <laughs> this dinner is fantastic. You're most welcome. <laughs> Uh-oh, did he run away again? Uh, where is he? Oh, I see him. He's over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, he really likes dates. Hoagie <laughs> <laughs> oh, goes to Hawaii. Well, it's the trade winds. The what now? The trade winds. They're winds that blow all the time, from east to west. And they're loud. But they sure make my life easier. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'll go a little lower, where the winds are less crazy. <laughs> Better. So, we're going west, but where? All I can see is sea. Well, what kind of land would you find in the middle of the ocean? Why, islands, of course. That's right, but we're not going to just any islands. We're going to the Hawaiian Islands. Land ho! Look at all those islands, way out here in the middle of the Pacific. Yep, there's over a hundred and thirty of them, and all with cool names. Over there's Oahu, with the capital Honolulu on it. And there's Malokai, Lanai, Maui, and Kaualaui. And that big one down there, that one's actually called Hawaii, the big island. And that's where we're gonna land. Wants to go swimming. Swimming? No way. 
You guys know how I feel about the water. I want to go to a luau. <laughs> what do you want to do, Hoagie? Well, I was thinking I might try. Wow! Whoa! Did you see that? Those waves are really big. They're huge, all right. Try what, Hoagie? You were saying? Uh, me? What was I saying? I I was saying, what do you want to do, Bernie? Me? I want to see lava. Lava and a luau. Watch out, Hawaii. Here we come. Oh, wow. Those smell great. Thank you. Wow, thanks. Aloha. Passport, please. Of course. Here you go. <laughs> okay. Mahalo, and welcome to Hawaii. My halo? <laughs> it's mahalo. It means thank you. Aloha. I'm Alana. Aloha, Alana. I'm Hoagie. This is Bernie, Lorna, and that's Floaty. Um, aloha? That's the Hawaiian word for hello or goodbye. But wait, then how do you know if the person is saying hello or goodbye to you? Well, usually if someone is just arriving, then it's hello. If they're leaving, <laughs> goodbye. Good point. But what if you said aloha for goodbye and haloha for hello? Think about it. <laughs> anyway, what brings you to Hawaii? We're adventurers. So we're, you know, looking for adventure. You came to the right place. So what kind of adventure do you want to have first? Oh, that's a good question. Lorna wants to go to a luau. And Bernie wants to see some lava. Great. And what about you? And... Me? Uh, I'm good. Lava and luau sound great. Okay. Well, we can go to Lorna's luau in a little bit. But, oh, brah, I know the best place to see lava. Great. You coming, Floaty? You know, I'm good right here. Why don't we meet up on the beach later? to the lava. The water cools it, and it becomes rock again. That's how all the islands were made. Wow, cool. I think you mean hot. <laughs> hey, let's take some pictures. Say cheese, everyone. <laughs> I'm all right. Hmm? But I'm a wet. <laughs> Phew, that was a close one. Now, who wants to go cool off at Luau? Me! I have pineapple and poke and poi, which is purple. Perfect. Thank you, Alana. Aole pilikia. I bet that means you're welcome. You're right. Yeah, I'm good with languages. So, if there's no apple in them and they don't grow on pine trees, why are they called pineapples? Because they kind of look like pine cones. Oh, that makes sense. How's it, Alana? <laughs> Chuck, brah. How's it? Get out and give them. <gasps> Ooh, what did you say? Oh, just local talk for how's it going and have fun. Shaka, give them! <laughs> <laughs> Watching the surfers, huh? Looks like fun. Uh-huh. Uh, fun. So, Hoagie, we saw lava. Now we're having a luau. Isn't there something you want to do? Who, <laughs> me? Uh, well, not really. Whoa! Whoa! Huh? Oh, really? You want to learn a hula? That's so great! Well, come on. There's no need to be embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, hey. Um, Hoagie, are you sure doing the hula was really what you wanted to do? <laughs> I put the wow in luau. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Hey, where's Hoagie? Huh? Oh, what's he making? I think it's a coffee table. My grandpa Bernard makes coffee tables. Oh, 
your grandpa's name is Bernie, too? No, his name is Bernard. Hey, guys, this is my uncle, Kanoa. How's it, Alana? Aloha! He means hello -ha, right? <laughs> right. Whoa, what are you making? A coffee table. Actually, I'm making... Wait, I think I know. Are you making a surfboard? Mm -hmm. Out of wood? Why, yes, they all used to be made out of wood. It's beautiful. Do you want to make a surfboard? Is that it? Uh, no, not exactly. Wait, I thought Hoagie wanted to hula. No, I think there's something Hoagie wants to do that he still hasn't told us about. Well, I, uh... Oh, I know. I'll bet he wants us to guess, right? Actually... Oh, right, a guessing game. I knew it. Hmm, let's see. Do you want to go souvenir shopping? Oh, I want to get this ukulele for my cousin Bernadette. Souvenirs are great, but... No! Come on, Lorna. It's obvious. He wants to... Explore a volcano. Uh, uh, well... Uh... Oh, is Lorna's tail huh? smoking again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, I've got it. Oh, he definitely must want to. Learn a fire dance. Huh? <laughs> That's crazy. He doesn't want to do that. I know what Hoagie wants to do. He definitely wants to... Go cliff diving! Uh... That's it, right? I got it, didn't I? Okay. Ready? One, uh... two... No, no! Oh. No, stop! No! I just thought maybe I'd try surfing. Surfing? Is that all? Well, yeah. <laughs> so you're a frog who's afraid of water? No, I grew up in a pond. We didn't have waves in the pond. Once in a while, we had ripples. I didn't know waves were so big and crashy. But you can't go surfing without the waves. I mean, right? She's right about that, Hoagie. But Uncle Kanoa is an expert, and he can help you learn. Right, Uncle? Right. There's nothing wrong with being a little scared, Hoagie. Trying something new can be scary. You just got to be safe, and we'll make sure you're safe. Right, Alana? You bet, Uncle. Just stand up. That's all you got to do, little brother. Stand up. You got this. I'm right here with you, buddy. Good luck. That's awesome! Koopa de Naha, Hoagie! Koopa Pajama! Whoops, <laughs> my fault! Sorry, I'm sorry! Haha, <laughs> Shaka, brother! You're doing great! Look what I can do, Lorna! Look! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad he got the serve, because that was definitely Kuka Pajamas. Hoagie, are you... I'm all right. I'm all right.